Hello and welcome, this is Moose2006, and we're back with some towns. So let's start them up. We'll go to speed 4, and here we go. So yeah, last time we got all these candles in, looks really nice. Eventually we will put some walls around to keep the light in. Uh, but for now that'll, that'll do. So their happiness is still kind of low. So I thought it would probably be a good time to give them a badger arena so that they can well watch badgers fight and kill each other and uh, they get a really big rise out of it I guess and then we can use the bones for things like armor and such um, so let's cut these out of the way and then we'll put our arena over here we also need a badger farm so we'll set that up that way they can raise their own badgers and then they will pluck them from the farm and we'll put it over here I think and then use them for the arena and we'll see how that works and we'll see if their happiness goes up a bit so we will get this fenced in I don't know if, oh I don't want that there do I uh, destroy let's build the fence so I can kind of see what I'm doing so we want that there ish and then we want the badger farm there ah whatever we don't need it that bad and there so then instead of killing badgers for meat uh, we kind of keep the control uh, the control of the numbers by putting them in the arena uh, also as you have probably been telling me for the last 60 seconds, I've been doing the wrong wall. So why don't I actually get the fence up, which is this thing, and that'll look a lot better. So we'll probably put the uh, fence door here, because the arena will be here-ish. So we'll do that. And that should work. We'll let them get started on that. They need a couple wood and a wild badger, which hopefully they'll just take that one because it's close. Now we go to furniture or a fence door to keep them in. Alright, now while they are starting on that, I will begin the arena process. So we go... Um, here we go. So let's do... Can we do it on stone? Yes. Also might want to terraform all this at some point into grass, but that'll be some other day. So we can put the arena kind of right out in front, maybe right here. It doesn't need to be big. And then we'll put a fence around that so the badgers stay in when they're fighting. Um, yeah. Actually, I think that'll look... Yeah, because the fence will... Yeah, the door will be right across. That'll look really nice. I hope. We'll do this and get that fence door up as well. This might take... I should probably put another constructor on duty. Because I think I took them all... No, we have two. I think it should be enough. Because we really need everyone else kind of doing their thing. Because this guy is probably chopping wood now. Yep. So it'll, it'll happen. Let's get the balcony up. So they have somewhere to sit and watch. Let's do that, and then eh, maybe a little bigger. Wait, I probably want to do expand. So that, that, might as well make it pretty large. We'll put some tables and stuff. And then I always like to make it look, wait, expand again. Put on a little... That way it's not all just square. We'll do something like this. Now they have a nice large arena to come sit and hang out and eat their bread and um, and play. And hopefully then their happiness will shoot up. But we really need this to finish, so we'll let that continue. Uh, we have enough wood, we just need our constructors to build them. F 
food is still probably an issue, but I just don't want to focus on it anymore. Alright, let's get some flowers planted. So we have a miner and digger who's not, or a miner and tiller who's not really doing much. So we can plant some flowers. Um, maybe instead of just planting like three rows, maybe we will try to like make this look nice with flowers. I don't, I've never done that, but let's do that. Yeah, again, we need to terraform that. Uh, we can cancel this. Maybe. There we go. So let's see about getting rid of this stone and maybe turning this to grass so that we can get all these flowers. Um, let's. Alright. Oh, well, that was really fast. And then I need to remember how to go about doing this. Terraforming. Perfect. Makes sense. Here we go. So... I think that'll do it. I can't really see. Ah, there we go. Terraform. And we'll get rid of that stone. So they need mud or spiderite or goblinite or green gel, and they have lots of green gel in this barrel, so hopefully they'll use that. And we'll get that built. But the constructors kind of have a lot to do, so that might be a while, but that's okay. What's who's mine and dig? Well he's kind of already done. I could put mine and dig and till and chop all in one job, right? That might be better. Let's see, we have till and chop, and then we have mine and dig. Let's do that, because I I don't think they usually have enough to do that we kind of need a whole other job. So let's disband this group. I don't know. Oh, we got a person. Okay. I was like, well, I don't think a hero left. Great. So let's go meets. Well, let me finish jobs before I get all ahead of myself. Okay, so now these people will till and chop and mine and dig, which should be fine. And this guy can get the wooden helmet, wooden breastplate, wooden boots. Let's give him the... I don't want him to go down into... He might die down there. Well, where's the bone sword? It's kind of the point of digging, so let's find it. I, I thought I saw it Wild chicken, wild badger, oh, we can get that. So Hadrian is going to get the bow and sword, and we'll make him some pants out of some spiderite since we have it. So our first crafted spiderite, Greaves, this is going to be, oh no we can't because we don't have iron. So bone, what do we need for that, three bones? Do we have enough bones? We have eight bones. All right, bone greaves, here we go. Three, six, nine, 12 bones for a full set, that's fine. He has wood for the rest. Great, that'll work out. I think Hadrian will be very pleased with, with his attire. And let's check on, ah, uh, this is all done. We just need badgers to grow and then we can, uh, oh wait, did I not put a fence there? I mean a door. Farm fence. Oops. We'll pretend that I originally did this instead. That way they can actually put the badger in there. Ooh, a, a red slime. Go get him, hero! Charles is all over this. And the brave Edmund decided to help Charles. Charles, get out of there. They need to build stuff. What are you... There we go. Look, terraforming's done. That was really, really quick. Let's... T oh, there we go. Till. And let's start planting some flowers. Make this a little nice. And then we can uh, cut the flowers for at at atelier stuff. Like we have yellow flowers here. We can uh, make hats and things out of it. Colors. 
yellow flowers, yellow color, and then we can build stuff. Oh, I don't want that. Okay. So let's get these planted, which would be in the planting. And what color do I want? Maybe, what is this? Taunting trunk. Protector, oh boy, is that a bad guy? Or is he with my herbalist? Ah, nice, all right, cool. Let's do maybe like red, yellow, and blue on all three. Will that look nice or do I want like all blue, all yellow? Ooh, the decisions this game gives you. Let's see. I think we're going to do blue on the corners. We'll do yellow on the inside here and here. We can always cut them down if they look terrible, but I think it's going to be fine. There. And now we can... set up some more barrels for the flowers. And if I can... They make it very easy, don't they? There's a barrel, there's a barrel. So raw materials. I might want to expand the atelier a bit, but for now we'll put our flowers um, on this side of things. We can always move them later if we find it's important to. So we'll get these barrels set up and we'll get some flowers put in them. Actually, we'll just put the door straight here. So it won't be centered, but that'll be fine. And there we go. So we got... Looks like I need to connect this road. So let's do that. I have plenty of stone, and like I said in last episode, if they are on a road, they travel faster. So it's really nice to set them up when I can. It takes a little while to build, but that might be enough for now. Maybe put one connecting the these. Uh, maybe just like that. No, because there'll be a wall. Or a, yeah, a wall there later. So let's put this and that should work. And maybe one on this other side of this mill. Alright, so we're really keeping our constructors busy today, but that'll be good. Ooh, iron boots. I don't know how those got there, but those are fantastic. So let's get him the bone greaves. Bone, bone sword and bone greaves makes sense. Um, let's see. We probably have enough bakers and cookers. I think we probably can always use more gatherers and harvesters because they just and their happiness is way up, which means they work enough, but they also get enough downtime. Uh, so maybe bakers and cookers are unhappy. Yes. So actually, let's. Hadrian, you are going to be a baker and cooker and see if we can get these ha this happiness up. It uh, looks like they're getting a little overworked, which might be why we don't have enough food. And I'm curious to see if the baker and cooker... Yeah, the baker and cooker makes the flour. So that might be why we're behind. Not because the wheat's not getting harvested, but because the flour's not getting uh, milled. So... This is looking really sharp. I'm liking this. Um, let's keep... Well, we have a badger. Well, let's do this first. We're going to set up our flower automation. So we're going to open these up to flowers. So we can put this one for yellow, this one for red, and we'll do blue here. So then we'll always have 10 of each color on hand. And we do that by going to uh, flowers here and setting 10 all the time. So then they'll automatically pick these and then the hauler will come by. Do I still have a hauler? It looks like it. Yeah, one hauler. He'll come by and put them in the barrel 
when all 10 are in the barrel, then these will get left alone and it'll look nice all the time until we use them. So let's keep working on our arena since it's looking pretty sweet. Um, once we get two badgers, we'll put out a, a nice little badger fight there. A little barbaric, but you know, that's, that's what these people are, I guess. Sorry, I was just looking at this town, this buried town. All right, so what was I doing? This game gets, okay, we're gonna build some tables. I like to build these nice, these look kind of nice. They kind of look like chess, like people are out here playing chess. But I think for the front seat, we should probably do these nice stone tables. Uh, I wish I would have done yeah, no, you can center these. I did three by three. Odd number, we can center them. Let's do that and put some stone chairs on either side. I don't want to put one there. I, I think this will look nice. We'll see what that can do. So we got flowers going. We got food. It, ah, okay. Food's looking a lot better. So I just needed a ba uh, another baker and cooker. I'm still not going to mess with this because once I, you know, like a 95 happiness is really, really good and I don't want to affect that. So we're going to keep six of them there. We're going to keep four. Uh, their happiness is shooting up too. Food's looking good. Holler. Um, I mean, we just don't have enough. We don't have enough people to really help them out. Two is fine there. We can probably. Can you like get. Eh. That'll probably be empty for a while. Let's let's just get it out of there. Unnamed constructors. Is there any other job group that I haven't done? We got those. Got those. Yep. Yep. Item wall and buildings. Oh, we need a trader. But I think I did my hauler. Does he? trade as well. Yeah, so I should probably call this haul and trader, not trader, because then we'd have to kick him out. Okay, you have to hit the backspace every time. Haul and trader. And we have a Marcus marketplace. Have I not done that? Oh, that's why we're not getting... Why didn't I do that a long time ago? So we need a marketplace, so then we actually get uh, people to come help uh, help and to, we get people to come in and trade with us so we can get iron and stuff by trading wood and whatnot. So let's put our marketplace here. Will that be will that be strange? I'm trying to look at like or maybe just one here. Doesn't have to be huge, though they do like to hang out in it, so it's fine if it's a little larger. So maybe we'll put one right here. We might have to move that barrel, but that's okay. It's kind of a large marketplace like this. Yeah, a little big, but I think I think they like to gather. Yeah, like this person's chilling in the marketplace with this wild chicken. They're just talking about uh, the the new arena in town. This chicken doesn't like well, her opinion of it, so he, he of course went up this hill uh, to get away from her, to get away from Isolde. So we have two badgers. So now I need to remember how to get them to fight. I think it's over here. Um, no, it's not. It's 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 really strange. It, it's a decoration. Yeah, here we go. So we will put a blue badger here and a red badger here and just let them duke it out. I'm not sure who hauls them. It's a gather and harvester, I guess, puts them in there. Yep. Ah, there we go. And the townspeople are flocking to see this. The first fight of Mooseville. Who's going to win? Oh boy. Nobody 
is interested in this fight. <laughs> they don't even like seeing this barbaric display. But you know what? They will enjoy it eventually, and we get bones out of it. And now this blue badger can stay, and we can put a green badger out, and we will just kind of make sure we don't let the too many badgers grow, or else then the feed all has to go to them. So, so we have chickens, we have enough eggs producing, we have sheep. And do we have any wool? I haven't really checked if they've sheared any wool yet. So if I go to Atelier... Nope. Okay, so we have... Oh, I need a hide skinning table. So let's get a hide skinning table. Which is probably an Atelier item, I assume. Yes, and I need iron, so I can't actually do that. I also do think I'm going to need a larger one of these, so let's expand this out. So it's even with this, which means I might as well expand the forge. Actually, I don't mind that shape. I'll keep that. And we can unlock that stone road and put it wherever else we need one. Maybe here? Sure. Nope. All right. Looks like our animals are getting butchered as soon as they grow. We got our fish still going. We have a gather and harvester. Not sure what they're doing. No, just hanging out by the beach. No problem. Let's check on our heroes. I haven't really checked on them. The first level is getting quite explored, and I think I've let them, yeah, they can go to level four when they're ready. And it doesn't look like they have too much yet. So we got some hats, some more, a lot of bones. So that'll be nice, uh, but I definitely don't want my people down there yet. Happiness shoots up, so we can probably next time maybe work on uh, getting more people. Or we might first work on building walls and maybe making a second floor. That's probably what we'll do, is we'll make a wall. Not a wall. We'll put walls up, so we make it like a building, finally. And then we'll put the other 16 people on like a second floor. I think that'll look nice. And we can maybe have a little balcony over this road, so there's this little tunnel that goes through a little balcony up top. I think I can figure out how to do that. Um, or at least I'll give it a shot. I think the flowers look nice. I might put more maybe around it at some point, but right now this will look good. Food's a lot better, I, it looks like. So I would say that this has been this has been good. I'm, I'm really excited to get this arena up. Uh, I, I think it makes them a lot happier. I'm not. It gives them somewhere to hang out at least once we get the chairs and stuff down. So I think that'll be good for Mooseville for now. So next episode we will work on this this little uh, dormitory area, whatever you want to call it. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have yourselves a very nice day.